What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another video slash review. And since it's hot as balls today, it is 95 degrees outside and 97% humidity last I checked. So I'm just going to do a quick collection video here for y'all. I'm not opening these. We, we I have these in Hasbro versions. And uh, in the next few months, I'm going to be going through quite a bit of my stuff. i got to go into my warehouse and whatnot. But, um... I uh, just want to show you what we got. All right, so I don't know if you ever have heard of Transformers uh, Prime Beast Hunters. Actually, it's just called Beast Hunters, but it's from the Transformers Prime line. It's like, I believe, season three. And in Japan, they called Transformers Go. So first up, we'll just check out this guy. This is Transformers Go uh, Shockwave. This is the Japanese painted version. And as you can see, it's nice metallic purple paint. You got a really cool box. Got the Decepticon right there. Hunter Shockwave. Shows he's got a lot more color than... And he's, he doesn't have the plain gray claws. They actually gave him some painted black claws, as you can see there, with a nice wash. They painted up the head right there, the front of the... I guess the front of the alt mode. And there he is in robot mode. So you got the nice pink transparent plastics in the eyes and whatnot. Nice painted purple plastic, metallic purple. Looking very cool. You got some metallic, uh, kind of like steel blue over there as well. And very nice. So this is 30th anniversary to Keratomi, of course. Level 3 conversion. Here's the side, Hunter Shockwave. You got a little picture of Shockwave, gives you some technical data. Strength is 9, Intelligence 10, Speed is 3, Endurance is 8, Rank is 8, Courage is 9, Fire Blast is 10, and Skill is 10. So very cool. Other side is pretty much the same thing. G13, this was the numbered. And the back, you got the little bio there in Japanese. Anyone that can read that and wants to translate, please leave it in the comment sections below. And you got the G11, G12, G14, G15, and G16 are better yet known as Hunter Optimus. Uh, I believe this is uh, uh, Dragotron. And this is Hunter Bumblebee. We have Hunter Bulkhead and Hunter Wheeljack. Checking out the product images, very nice product images. Next up is G11. This is Hunter Optimus Prime. Or Hunter Convoy. I'm not sure what they... Oh, yep. Hunter Optimus Prime. That's what I thought. As you can notice, he doesn't have green um, windshield. He has the blue like the cartoon. So very nice. Way better paint job. You got that metallic bl dark navy blue paint like the cartoon was. And you got the bright reds with the silver accents painted on. Looking very nice. Much less kid friendly and much more collector friendly. So, very cool. I got this a long time ago. Um, well, not that long ago, but, you know, when it was available in some in the later 2000 teens or something. I don't know, 2013 maybe. And Transformers 30th Anniversary, you got the Ter Kiritami. He is a level 3 conversion as well, although I would call that a level 5 or today, or a level 3 out of 1 to 3. But anyways, there's a product image of what he looks like in truck mode so very cool much more details in truck you got the yellow windows painted on and the silver grill it's g11 autobot as you notice these are actually autobot and decepticon oh also he has the blue translucent sword like the show instead of the green one and he's got the blue eyes so as you can see there there so so very cool Looking at the side of the packaging, you got the image of the CGI image of Optimus there. And then, oh yeah, the stats are on the other side. Down here, strength is 10, endurance is 8, 7, speed, endurance, oh sorry, strength 10, intelligence 8, speed 7, endurance 10, rank 10, courage 10, fire blast 9, and skill 8. So a lot less than the generation 1 Optimus Prime. You got the Japanese bio, G11. You got some product images, very cool. Nice product images. And as well as the same cross cells. 
and uh, nothing on the bottom and the top is just Transformers Go. That's just in backwards, but. And next up is the Transformers Prime Cyberverse line. This is a really cool line. These are actually my sealed versions. I believe I have about a little bit more than this in loose open versions for Wave 1 and whatnot, but uh, we'll just check them out one by one, shall we? All right, so starting it off, we have Transformers Cyberverse Nightwatch Optimus Prime. And this is the one that you get the face in it. As you, if you notice, he's actually got his face. So we'll kind of zoom in here and see how much light we can actually get on these. But they're a little bit hard. But as you notice, he's got his face. And uh, he's got different details in truck mode. He's kind of like a darker red, I believe, too. You can see there's the truck. And then the details... And they did have uh, bios, so pause and read if you'd like to read these. All right, so very cool. That's Optimus Prime, Nightwatch Optimus. And keep in mind, I do have open versions of pretty much all of these. So here's Optimus Prime himself, checking out the difference in face sculpts. I like this one much better. Just not that this face sculpt's bad, just wasn't painted well. Could have been done a lot better. I can't really show them together that well. Uh, that's probably best I can do. But uh, yeah, so looks much better. Definitely invokes the cartoon a little bit more or the CGI, I guess. And this is the regular version. This is just a second release of it. There's a mini DVD included with it, as you can see back here. And uh, checking out the back of the box, you can see that it has two guns the other one comes with two swords if you notice there are two swords um you're not gonna be able to see them that well but there's the bio for those that want to read all right so just to keep things moving let's just get this along so for every autobot we'll show a decepticon and we're going off with megatron next and this is a very cool figure this is a very cool line i really wish they would kind of switch to this style uh, switch back to this style again instead of doing all the the kid stuff. I think this would work really well with kids in my opinion This is really great, but cyber sword he comes with his fusion cannon as well He does transform into his jet mode and as you can see he's a pretty perfect Robot mode and there's the bio for those that want to read pause And it's the Decepticon leader Megatron Oops, I almost knocked the light into everything um Next up, we got Bulkhead. So, Transformers Prime, you can see that on the, the, the packaging, they have all the Autobots there, and Bulkhead is there. So, that looks cool. I just want to show you something really quick. I actually forgot the side for a minute. It has some more CGI art looking really cool, plus some technical data that you can pause and read if you'd like. This is Megatron, and this is Optimus Prime. Also, if you notice, it's Series 2, and they have numbered 001, 004. Back to Bulkhead. I showed you the art on the side. You got the CGI right from the CGI uh, animated show. And it includes a battle mace. You got the cool, almost perfect-looking Bulkhead. The silhouette is definitely perfect. Shows his Bulkhead. There's the side. You get the text right there. Some more CGI art for you. Looking very cool. Definitely stripped right from the cartoon. So that's cool. Here is the bio and all of the product images. And this is 0002. And this is also in Series 1, but rebuilt for Series 2. So moving right along, we'll do another Decepticon. We have Dreadwing here. Keep in mind, this is just the ones I have in this set. But I do have uh, more of these, and we will do reviews of the, those, the open versions, eventually here. But uh, checking out there, we got Dreadwing, and very cool. This is Dreadwing, and there you go with his technical data. You got the CGI art right there, Decepticon Alliance, Series 20005. And then his bio. So very cool that they give you bios and all the art and product images. All right, moving right along, we have second in command, basically. We have, there's a little hint for you, Battle Hammer included. 
and this is Ultra Magnus. And if you notice, this is actually the uh, smaller version of what he was in the toy first and not the cartoon. But they do have cartoon version of this, I believe. But as you can see, Ultra Magnus. There you got the technical data. The face looks right, but as you can see that the armor is not right. And maybe this is a Cybertronian version, you could always think, but there is the bio, heavy munitions, battle hammer included, and there you go. And there's a little bit of art from the bottom, as you can see. So very cool. The hub was around back then. And then we go for his brother, Quake. Skyquake, sorry about that. <laughs> I was just using my memory there for a minute. My memory is terrible. Includes Tornado Cannon. That's a very cool, very, very cool. And you got the CGI of the, looks like F-22. Actually, it probably is an F-22. Series 2010. Just the technical data. There's Skyquake in his CGI form. And then there is his bio, pause and read. And there you go for the product images. And then last but certainly not least for this video, we have Ironhide. And if you look, there he is. So we'll just take a quick look at up close and personal what his face scope would look like. There you go. And we do have this in toy form, uh, in deluxe class. But there you go. This one is actually opened. Or, it, or maybe, yeah, it's opened. So out of these, this is the only one that's opened. Heavy munitions. There's his bio. There's his product images. You can see what he looks like. And once again, there is technical data and there's a CGI art, which he never did make it into the uh, animated show. So let me know what you think of this video. If you want to see more of these, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe for more toy reviews, and as always, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace, that's a wrap, guys. Have a good day.